What's up, Peak Timers? Let's go ahead and open up over 20 brand new 2021 Hot Wheels. All of these cars came from the 2021 Hot Wheels C case. Let's go ahead and start it off with the Honda Civic SI brand new color look at this one such a gorgeous looking car i love the color of this one and you guys know i'm not the biggest honda fan but you know what hot wheels is making some fantastic looking honda products right here check out that hood scoop on the front the nice tampo headlights and all of that great looking chrome wheels on the side of it and this color just looks perfect for this car really really like it nice tampo work on the back of this civic as well and you can see that little spoiler that just comes up just right there we got a black interior and we also have that moon roof right on top an all-around great looking car Next up, we have the Heavy Hitcher. This is a brand new recolor of the Heavy Hitcher from the Hot Wheels Metro Series, car number two of 10. Let's go ahead and open it up and get a close up look at it. And obviously this one is a tow truck, so it's got that little tow hook just right on the back right there. And if we go ahead and try it out, we can, uh, we can kind of tow the Civic if we just put it down right there. There we go. So we can tow that Honda Civic perfectly fine. It'll roll around nicely and it hooks on. So there we go. We've got that heavy hitcher. We've got the, the heavy hitcher riding on the side of it. From the front, pretty plain. Does look kind of mean looking, which is good. It's kind of supposed to be a rugged looking truck. We got the lights on the top. We got the blacked out wheels, big wheels on the rear with a little bit smaller ones on the front. And we've got that colored lip on there all around. But uh, nice looking new recolor of heavy hitcher. Land Rover Defender 90. I absolutely love this casting. I think it looks great. And this is part of the Baja Blazers series. So this one, it's got like that rugged mud look to it. it looks really, really cool. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And we can see what it looks like up close right here. And there we go. So you can see the mud look on those tires right there. And all the wheels are all muddy as well. It's even got some like a little bit of mud splashes and stuff just right on the body. You can kind of just see it slightly mixed into the paint job right there. We've got the Land Rover 90, the number 90 right there for the Defender 90. There's that sunroof on the top. Really, really cool roof design too, kind of how it slants down a little bit right there. And then it's got some ruggedness on the top. We've got the spare tire on there, which is kind of weird that the spare tire is completely clean. Would have been cool if it had like a little bit of mud splashes and stuff on there, but nonetheless, it still looks really, really good. And there's that classic Land Rover front end. Just a great looking casting. I absolutely love this one. I can't wait to see more colors of it. 2016 Ford GT race and I was super excited to get another color of this one this one's come out now and I think about probably about five or six different recolors since this casting was released but nonetheless I'm excited to see another color for this one so we've got the silver or I guess you could call this gray but I'd say it's more of a silver color and it's got the black striping right down there we actually have the regular 2017 Ford GT which it looks very very similar color so it's going to be cool to put these side by side but this one does have like that borla exhaust on the side of it with some writing and stuff and all that so it's meant to be racing you can see kind of the the racing uh, number right there we got the cool looking headlights on the front end and of course there is that big rear diffuser and spoiler for the race variation if we look right through we can kind of see the engine right through there as well which is a cool neat touch to this one and there's that little door that would open up on a race car to have the guy escape in case there's a fire or anything like that but just an all-around great looking car the ford gt race and next up from the Fast Foodie series, we've got Donut Drifter, new color of Donut Drifter. We've seen him in a few different colors from last year. Now we've got this new one, it's a pink donut. We've got the blue on the back. Let's go ahead and pop open the Donut Drifter. Uh, it's a very, very cool, fun casting. My kids actually really, really like this casting. Obviously it's a little donut race car, so it looks really neat. Pink wheels on there. We've got the, whoa, whoa, we're dropping it. We're dropping, of course, it wouldn't be a video unless I dropped the car, but there we go, it's back, it's fine. Donut Drifter did okay. We've got the blue backing on him as well. And there's that little guy just riding right in there, right in the middle of it, Donut Drifter. And a really cool, unique, interesting casting. It's the Hot Wheels Legends Tour winner, The Nash. And this was from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage series. And this one won the Hot Wheels Legends Tour car of the year in 2019. And now they've released it into this Hot Wheels casting. And I think it's a really, really cool looking casting. We're actually gonna be seeing this one in the Forza Horizon 4 video game. 
So stay tuned for that. There's a Hot Wheels pack coming out for that. We'll have more details on that one in the future. But nonetheless, let's look at the Nash. Look at the cool engine that comes out. Got that rustic look on the front uh, right here. It's kind of look a little bit rustic. It's supposed to be a little bit older looking. The really cool thing I really like about this is just check out those wheels and tires. Just check that out. Very, very unique. I've never seen a wheel tire combination like this before. They've got the really thin tires on there and they kind of come out. I just love it. It's a really, really good stance to this car. It's a very, very unique design. Nicely customized. Nice to see this one into a Hot Wheels casting. Next up is the 2017 Nissan GTR R35. We've got this one in yellow, just a fantastic looking casting from the then and now series. So expect a then edition of this car coming in the future. I'm not too sure the exact one of this one. Let's go ahead and pop it open though. And we have lots of different colors of this one released in the past, but now we've got this cool looking yellow one. You guys know how much I love yellow. It's my favorite color of all time. So very, very cool to see a GTR in yellow. Great looking detail for tampa work and stamping and all that on the back of it. We've got the nice blacked out wheels on there. It's got a little bit of a colored lip on there, colored chrome lip on there. There's that cool looking Nissan GTR front end. And then if you look at the striping, it's really cool. It's got like a kind of jagged edge and not like fully striped right through. And then it stripes bigger from all the way down to the back. It gets, it gets even bigger as it goes down. So that's a pretty cool stripe we haven't seen something like that for a while so very very unique on this car but what do you guys think of the yellow nissan gtr next up we've got tricera truck tricera truck a brand new color of tricera truck this one's from the dino riders series car number three of five and we've got lots of different colors of this one that's come up previously and now we've got another recolor of it and it's a it's just a really cool casting i mean it's something unique it's definitely a fantasy casting of course it's supposed to look like the triceratops dinosaur on there and just check it out we've got the engine on the back we've got the little exhaust that supposedly comes out right there there's the horns on there and there's the big like I don't know what they're called, the fin things or whatever on the Tricera truck, but an all around great looking design. And it's cool to see all the different recolors that have come out of this one. What do you guys think of this one? Next up, we've got the Volvo 850 Estate. We've got it now in the red color from the Factory Fresh series. We've seen this one previously re released in a white, and I think it was like a grayish blue color that they had previously as well. But I really like the clean look of this red one. It's a very high gloss look to it. Nice looking chrome wheels on this one. It's just a classic design, classic Volvo car, very reliable in real life, and uh, just a kind of they have a, a little bit of a following to these type of cars but I think it looks really cool it kind of looks like it's lowered out with a body kit and stuff on there nice detail on the front nice roof on there as well very boxy design but I think it looks really cool hot Weiler is our next one a unique casting from the Street Beast series new color of this one and this one does something a little bit unique which you don't see a lot on cars and I'll show you that right now so let's go ahead and have a look at there's hot Weiler in this cool looking orangish color here we've got some cool design on it and then we've got uh, I don't know like it looks like a chain of some sort to chain the dog down I mean it's obviously supposed to be a dog and there is the uniqueness of this is it has this piece that kind of comes up so it's got like the the, the angry teeth on him that will come up and eat you up and bite you right here. So that's a very unique thing that the Hotwiler does. And you can see the big chrome base on there. That, there's that chrome exhaust that sticks out from the side. Gold wheels on there as well. It's a unique casting, but it's nice to see a new recolor of it. Ford GT40, absolutely fantastic looking casting. This is part of the Gumball 3000s release edition from the then and now series, car number one of 10. And so we do have a now edition of this, which I've actually already opened up previously, the 2017 Ford GT. Let's go ahead and open this one up though. And I really, really like this one. The GT40, very classic design. I mean, even to this day, the GT40 looks kind of new and it was made in the late 60s. Very, very cool looking design. Awesome car. Obviously, it was famous for winning Le Mans four times in a row. You guys saw that movie, Ford versus Ferrari. So, obviously, that's the story of this. But it's uh, just been one of my favorite cars of all time. I really, really like the GT40. I think it looks great. I love seeing all the new recolors of this. Obviously, it's an older casting. We've seen this one previously. But there we go. Now we've got it in a then and now series, the Ford GT40. Subaru WRX STI Hot Wheels Speed Graphics Series. 
brand new yellow recolor of this casting. And it's the Subaru WRX SDS are just really, really cool cars. But I have to say, I'm not a big fan of the hatchback variation, the hatchback variation. I don't, I don't think it looks that great. I like the sedan variation of this one. But nonetheless, it's an STI, third fast turbocharged car, all wheel drive. Not much as far as Tampa work goes on the front end. I mean, you can see the headlights and all there. They're just not really stamped in. They've, they've used the stamping for the STI and the stripe and the little uh, Subaru logo right there, but it's kind of weird that you don't see any stamping for any headlights or anything like that. Big STI logo on the side of it, as you can see the little Hot Wheels logo right there, and just stamping for the lights and spike back there, but nothing as far as anything else goes for lighting or anything like that. But still, it's a pretty cool looking casting. Like I said, it's not my favorite, but it's nice to see some more Subarus to the Hot Wheels lineup. 69 Chevelle, and this is part of the X Racer series, so you can kind of see through this car. This is a new color variation of this one. So let's go ahead and open up this 69 Chevelle right here. And there we go, cool looking color to it. And there there we go, there's the see-throughness. You can see through, right through the car, even through the top where you can see right down in, kind of through the interior as well. It does have some sort of weird graphics and striping and stuff like that all around it. Not much as far as any paint work goes for the front end. I mean, they put a lot of effort into the body work on this one, which I think it looks really cool. I like these X-Racer cars. I'd actually like to see more like these supercars get into an X-Ray series. I mean, it'd be cool to see like a, a McLaren Center or something like that with this type of bodywork. What do you guys think? I don't know. I like this one. I think it's pretty cool. We'll have to see if they release any neat ones in the future. Surf and Turf, brand new color of Surf and Turf Hot Wheels art car series. So obviously the art cars will have a lot of crazy paintwork on them. So let's go ahead and see what the Surf and Turf has. So very, very cool looking paint job. Just check out the detail and stuff on that paint job right there. Looks fantastic. We've got the blacked out wheel with the white lip on them, which looks pretty neat. There's the back end of it right there. There's got the surfboard on the top and a big chrome engine. Just check out the size of that engine right there. You can barely see through the front window with the big engine just like that. Very, very cool looking car though, guys. What do you guys think of surf and turf in the art cars form? And next up, we've got the Lancia Delta Integrale. I'm not sure if I pronounced that exactly right, but I think this is a really cool looking car. I really like the white look with the white wheels on there. Let's go ahead and pop it open. We can get a nice close up look at this one. So obviously this one's made for like off-road racing, I think it was back in the 80s maybe, but very, very cool design car. I really, really like the detail. Just check out the detail of the front end. Looks absolutely fantastic. The lighting, you know, the stamping for the headlights, this, even the side little marker lights, the, the fog lights on the bottom. Very, very great designed car. Nicely stamped, great looking details on the side. Those white wheels look fantastic. Really, really like those as well. Cool looking spoiler on the top. It's kind of got like a little lip spoiler. Uh, they kind of cheaped out a little bit on the back. I mean, not much as far as stamping or anything goes, but if you just look at it from that end right there and you just look from the front and the side, such a good looking Hot Wheels casting. Lamborghini Urus and we have a factory fresh edition 2017 brand new recolor. We saw this one originally released in yellow. Now we've got this blue one with different wheels on it. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a nice look at it. I was a big fan of the yellow one that originally came out just because the detail on the front end looked really, really good. And let's see, looks really great on this one as well. Nice looking stamp for the headlights. Just look at all the details for the front grill and the mesh and all that. It's proper Lamborghini look to it. Very, very cool from the side end right there. These wheels, I actually think it kind of looks good on the Urus. I mean, normally I'm not a fan of these wheels. I think they're a little bit too busy, but I think it does suit the Urus very, very nicely. Great looking back end right there. You can see the Lamborghini logo mixed in with the little uh, Urus for the license plate as well, but just an all around fantastic design. We love to see all these new Lamborghinis. Even though this is a Lamborghini SUV, still, nonetheless, it looks great. Hot Wheels has done this one right. BMW M3 GT2. We've got this one in red from the Hot Wheels Race Day series. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Very, very cool looking car. I like all these BMWs and this one looks good. I mean, these wheels though are one thing I have to say. I don't know if they if they suit the car. They kind of do, they kind of don't. But nonetheless, I mean, they're blacked out so it doesn't look too bad. We've got a big rear spoiler. Check out the spoiler is like pretty much wider than the car itself, almost wider than the car itself. It really, really shines on this car though, really nicely. No stamping for the rear though, so it's very, very plain. 
for the front as well. Nothing much as far as stamping or anything like that goes, but they spent the, the work on the striping and on the side, which I think it does look really good. So if you just look at it from the side, looks really, really nice, this BMW. Next up, the Custom 77 Dodge Van from the Hot Wheels Art Car Series. And this one, if you look really closely, can you spot it before I open it up? It is a treasure hunt car. Do you guys see the little treasure hunt logo? All right, let's go ahead and pop it open and I'll show you exactly where it is here. So it is the treasure hunt. So you can see even on the card, there it is. There's the treasure hunt logo right there. But on the car itself, if we look at the back and right there, right mixed in right there, you can see the little treasure hunt logo. So it is a treasure hunt, the Jack of Hearts car, Hot Wheels art car series. And just check out that on the top. Great looking stamping and detail for it. They've done a really, really good job on this treasure hunt car. I really, really like it. They've done a nice, nice paint job, nice look. Overall, just a great car to display. And also the fact that it is a treasure hunt. Next up, we've got the Porsche 935. This is a Magnus Walker Urban Outlaw Edition. So it's got that same coloring that we've seen before on quite a few different Porsches. But there we have this one. Very, very nice in the white. I like the 935. We've gotten several different recolors of this one previously but this one does look good in the Magnus Walker trim. And I just really like the blue. The blue on the Magnus Walker looks really good. I like it better than the red variations that they've released previously. So we see that nice blue base on there, the white car, and then the red kind of mixed in right there, which looks good. So it's gotta have that blue trim on the bottom. So I think this one's done right. Although I'm not a big fan of these wheels. I think they look a little bit too old looking. But nonetheless, just an all around good looking car. It's a good looking Porsche. What do you guys think of this Magnus Walker Edition Porsche 935? Next up is Speed Dozer. Check out Speed Dozer. Check out the size of the rear wheel tire combination on this one compared to the front. Obviously it's supposed to be like a bulldozer that's got like a big engine on it. So let's go ahead and get a close up look at this one, this Speed Dozer. Look at the exhaust on here, the big chrome exhaust pipes that come down there the big headers and stuff on this one. Just absolutely crazy. I mean, this would be cool to see them build something like this in real life. Just like a crazy bulldozer with a big engine on it. Just check out the rear tires. They're all muddy and stuff as well, which looks really, really cool. Speed Dozer, an interesting casting. I really like it. I think it's cool to add to the Hot Wheels lineup. Roger Dodger, the magic eight ball addition to this car from the Mattel games series. And it's a pretty cool looking car. I mean, I think the Roger Dodger suits a magic eight ball car. I mean, I can't think of a better Hot Wheels car to put as a magic eight ball addition. I don't know what it is. It just looks good. The Roger Dodger, there it is. It's a very glossy black. I mean, Roger Dodger is kind of a muscle car look, but just the way that they've integrated that eight ball in there, it looks really, really cool. And you can see even the little magic eight ball written on the back end. We've got the Hot Wheels logo right there. The big engine on it looks very, very mean and aggressive with that big engine. It's just check out how glossy the car is all around in our lights right here. What do you guys think of the magic eight ball edition on the Roger Dodger? And our last car that we're opening up today is the Dodge Van. And don't be fooled by just the name Dodge Van because I actually have opened up one of these before and I was actually quite surprised how good of a casting this is and how detailed it is. So first, if we just look around the side, I mean, it's got some nice stamping on there. It does have like the, the moon eyes on there. So I'm not even sure if it's an officially a moon eyes edition. We've got the Dodge on there. Great looking detail on the front end. Just look at that. Look at the grill, the stamping of the headlights, the, the windshield wipers and the chrome all on that front end right there. Nice looking slats on the back for these windows as well as the chrome bumper. And then the showpiece. Look inside of this one. It's all chrome and it looks like it's got a little go-kart inside of it. Isn't that cool? Check out that little go-kart that's inside. All chromed out go-kart, chromed out uh, interior as far as the seats and the dash and all of that go. Just a, a really, really cool detailed van. I mean, when you see the name, just Dodge Van, you, you think it's kind of boring, but then you actually open it up 
it's there's just so much to see about this car it's just a fantastic looking hot wheels car really really nicely done all right guys in the comment section down below let me know which was your favorite car that we opened up today if i had to pick two cars they obviously have to be this new ford gt race recolor as well as the nissan gtr r35 those are kind of my two favorites from today but comment down below which one's your favorite don't forget to hit that like button and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye bye